Dr. Bilko here at Victory Chiropractic. And as you can tell, we got a lot of snow overnight. So I want to go over some tips on how to properly shovel snow to make sure you're not going to aggravate your back. All right. And then this is my daughter, Victoria. She's going to help me out today. All right, Victoria? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the biggest issue you want to make sure you're going to make sure you're not doing is going to be trying to lift the snow. All right. You want to get the proper snow shovel that you can push the snow. All right. You want to work smart, not hard. So the biggest thing you'll hear. Push as much as you can. You don't want to pick it up. If you do have to pick it up, you want to make sure that you're not going to the very bottom and lifting as heavy as you can. Feel free to go a little at the top. You want to make sure you're not bending and twisting, okay? What you don't want to do is go here and twist this way. When you're doing that type of twist, it's going to end up causing a torsion in the lower back, which is going to be a lot more pressure, and you're more likely to injure your back. Right, you want to make sure you break it down into small sections so you're not doing repetitive work over and over and over again, giving your time tough time to break. You also want to make sure that you're switching sides. So here, turn this way. Going back and forth each way is going to help use different muscles on each side to make sure you don't fatigue out causing lower back pain. Right? So make sure you're following those tips, make sure that you're breaking it up into small spaces, make sure that you're pushing and not uh, picking up when you don't have to. All right, and don't do repetitive motion on one side singularly. All right, so make sure you're following these tips, make sure you keep that healthy back, and you'll hear from me soon. Thanks.